So Tesla is back in news. The Tesla vehicle is back in news. And it's not in the good light. So William Vargas, the Tesla we call, tells us we can't trust the company. And I'm not surprised to hear that. And this and this got this has got something to do with that autopilot regulation. You know, uh, Tesla been moved before by the autopilot product. Oh. So, the situation involving Tesla and its autopilot suit, a driver assistant feature, is just the latest example of the impotent some companies seem to feel when it comes to safety laws. According to the Washington Post, there have been at least 17 deaths and five serious injuries associated with the autopilot and 736 U.S. players since 2019. Several deaths involve people outside the Tesla such as motorcycles and at least 16 crashes involve the Tesla colliding with stationary first responder or maintaining vehicles. Well, earlier this month, after years of scrutiny by the safety by the safety official advocate and the lawmaker, Tesla recalled more than two million US bills. I remember that because I done I done a story on that. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration found that drivers could driver could too easily misuse the autopilot in a situation where they were not in control of the vehicle or where the system was not designed to be used. These conclusions are similar to what the National Transportation Safety Board has found in the investigation of Tesla crash since 2016. Importantly, autopilot does not make a car self-driving. It can keep the car a set distance from vehicle traveling ahead of them and provide the steering wheel support to keep the vehicle safely in the lane. But Tesla warned driver to keep their hands on the steering wheel, remain mindful of the surroundings, and always be prepared to take immediate, immediate action. I always did say, for the record, and I said for my video, I don't think these cars need that much convenience. And plus, you got to put this in perspective, y'all. Anything they, that have come out, manufactured, come out, it never 100 percent came out right. I mean, you you generally have to go to the we call that Tesla vehicle been through in previous years. Not just Tesla, but all brand of cars. A lot of brand of cars went through we call. Especially with the electric car they got here now. Those currently going through weak call with people. Do. But the main weak call that are happening with electric car with people more than anything else to me is them vehicles catching on fire because of the, of the looming bag. So if you genuinely got that situation going on, what make them people make sense, manifest people make it make sense to come out with an extra feature for or some uh, vehicles? That don't make any common sense at all. If your product didn't hundred percent come out right the first time, why are you add no new technology that's gonna uh, possibly not come out right now? I mean, I, I really, I really do think some people need to um, uh, 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 have that consideration. But let's go on. Uh, Tesla did not acute with the uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration analysts. The company agreed to carry out the recall voluntarily in the interest of resolving the two-year investigation. The solution of offered by the company is free over the air software update. Oh boy. Let me just say this right quick. I, I, I don't know about y'all. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know about y'all. But I am so, so over these people. Thinking they can fix everything with a software update. Software update is not the answer all the time. That isn't always the answer. 
If it ever comes to these uh, car manufacturers who make these cars that the problem they got with vehicle could be a physical uh could be a physical building problem instead of a hard it's instead of software problem. See, yeah, see that's what I'm talking about right there. These people so busy making these cars today focus on the technology and put these new technology cars, they so focus on that. Till they leave out the physical, the physical aspect of making a car. You can't just go lacking in physically making a car and putting all these new technology in the car at the same time. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. The way you focus on put all these new technology in your vehicle, you need to easily put your focus on physically make sure the car is built right as well. Because if you do one without the other, that's not gonna work. And in my opinion, that's partially the reason why you have to so many these uh, vehicles being a car so much. Okay, let me go on. Software oh, software update it says will improve control and alert to keep drivers engaged. Pursue report for which I work in the process of Elevating autopilot after the software update on the Tesla vehicle in our fleet. Unfortunately, our export criminality elevation suggests that fixing is insignificant with the software not going far enough to prevent misuse or driving inattention. Know why? The software update, when software update is designed to get the software. Even misusing the uh, uh, autopilot, you can't control people. You can probably control the hardware, the software, and the update you do to, do to this car, but you can't control people. But as I said earlier, I'm gonna go back to the point I made earlier. I feel like this autopilot, you don't need that much convenience nowhere. I'm just saying that that this I feel on that. For example, CR's test was still able to use the autopilot after coupling in in car camera and driving can still use the feature if they're looking away from the road. We call Mark as a critical moment for Tesla driver and those who share the road with them. It's instant for Tesla and the National Highway Traffic Safety Commission to actually address the seriousness safety issue at hand. They must ensure that all the pilot can be used only in the situation for which it's being designed, such as on the lim limited accessory highway and only when the system has verified that the driver is paying attention to the road. It's alarming that the base on CR's criminality elevation and the, 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 the assessment of the safety expert the recall might not work effectively in its current form. It's especially concerned because the autopilot is not only in the marketplace. According to CR's most recent data, active driver assisted systems are available for more than half of 2023 modern year vehicles. And a few come with the safety guard that need its or for if <laughs> it's foreseeable that safety regulations could start to see a pattern of incident in non Tesla vehicle too. There you go. The Tesla Master Autopilot we call also make clear that our Auto safety system is not serving consumers. How can people trust that their car are designed to be safe? Freedom of defense if company under scrutiny take years to carry out the recall. You know what? I wish y'all would have posed that question where all these recalls were going to be called uh, a while back. And Y'all listen to this me what I'm about to say. Take take the uh take the autopilot situation out the equation for a moment. 
things that you have things that going on with your cars for quite some time now that you that, that didn't involve an auto pop. Okay, how many uh defects that have been used by these cars? I mean, seriously. So this is the, the question they just asked months ago is a question that should have been asked in general. But in general, all the remanufacturers uh, they need to be called the question anyway because the manufacturers do because I know they know if they know how to build the car, they should be more aware of what's going on. How they how they uh uh taking their time and uh, build these cars and be well uh how they put them together and be more cautious or more responsible, I should say, in how they build these cars in the first place. Maybe they took time about doing that. Maybe you won't have so much a problem with the cars. I'm just saying, cause like a majority of the problems that you see going these cars, it, it come from a uh, uh, manufacturing situation, manufacturing. Cause how many times we don't see. They didn't do this right, they didn't put this in right, they didn't screw this in right, they didn't do it, et cetera, et cetera. Something they didn't do right when they were building these cars. You don't, you don't see, I don't see anything like that in autos. So, then we just, just go on. As consumers, we should demand more. We should credit companies that put safety first and call on others to step up. Congress should challenge and empower the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration with the resource funding and staff, legal tools, and independent necessary to hold companies accountable more quickly and for hit hits. Uh, y'all should call for that a long time ago. <laughs> okay, y'all should call for that a long time ago. Matter of fact, y'all should call for that. The moment that you get your cars kept. Uh, catching on fire in the wiggle catching on fire and these other burning cars can have a day physical situation but believe me along with testing other cars kept being recalled too on a little bit of consistent basis as well Tesla was one of the well known uh, news articles that kept being news but what we call this stuff, but other brand car has been in the, in the same boat as well. So y'all should have done that a lot a, a while back. I'm just saying, maybe you will get more more stuff done or more or uh, bring more attention, I should say, to all these recalls that are going on with this car. Trust me. Because based on uh, how y'all talking in this article, let me tell y'all something. This, this right here get, did not get started with these other parties. These cars have been recalled for quite some time now. But I, I find it strange enough that it took the test of the auto part situation for, uh, uh, for people to know something going on with the vehicle. I just want to put that the test ain't the only vehicle for that stuff that we call. And Tesla all the part ain't the only thing why Tesla has been we call. And you can say the same thing about each other vehicle. So ultimately, when a safety recall is needed, it should happen in a matter of months, not years. I agree with that. And no argument, no, no argument there. And it should be effective. That is not too much for consumers to ask. So,
And now that one thing I wish this offer also would address too. I wish this offer would address the fact that a lot of times when we call get we call, they'll send you a, a notification about it within the following months. Basically, I'll give you an example. A vehicle could be recalled. And let's say, okay, because this, this is the month January, right? You can have a vehicle recalled right now. In this month, you won't get a notification. Only of that money call won't get a notification to the following month. I don't think that right. If there's a, a recall going to a car, all those should be notified right there that day. Why would you miss, uh, why would you, why would you, uh, uh, wait till the following month to send somebody a notification about a call being recalled. That's kind of what they dress, that kind of what they dress right here in the, that, in the, uh, last season of the offer, but still, I wish they would go, go into more detail about it. Because I, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. But, the only thing we're starting about this whole uh, uh, situation in the comment section, and now we'll leave the link to this in the description box. Yeah, Tesla, that's your lime, they, the limelight, I ask you would not for no reason. Just wearing the car. Make sure you share this video if you enjoy it. Make sure you like the video and subscribe if you knew I do videos like this on a regular basis. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.